Okay. Go ahead and get your uh, name. Uh, I'm Demetrius, Dr. Demetrius Pearson. Okay. And I'm a, an associate professor in the Department of Health and Human Performance here at the University of Houston. Okay. And I noticed here that uh, you got your PhD here. Your I got my EDD, EDD here, right. yeah, in the College of Education back in uh, 1990. I'm just mm -hmm. curious a little bit about what those games were like and what it oh, felt man. like on the campus. Gee. You know, th that's an interesting topic because um, if you go back to those days, I mean, it was buzzing on campus. As a matter of fact, it was almost like, and, and I used to travel from time to time, not necessarily with the team, but during some of the other activities that I was involved in. And it was almost like a traveling road show. They were much like rock stars because, I mean, they were the biggest team that you could ever put on the floor. I mean, Cook Guy Lewis could go to the bench and pull out seven footers and six, ten guys like the Bunce brothers, who I had uh, one of the Bunce brothers' daughter in my graduate class who recently graduated from the University of Houston. A guy like um, Brian Williams, who was six, ten from California. He's coming in to spell an Elijah Wan or a Misha. I mean, I mean, you just had so much size. It was like, I, you know, sometimes I, I used to joke with, with uh, Coach Lewis. I say, Coach, you can throw the names in a hat and just pick the names out, and, and, and that's enough to beat any team in the country, pretty much, with the kinds of athletes that he was getting and, and what they were capable of doing. I, I told you know some of my friends, get to the game early. Because by halftime, it's over. I mean, we would be beating people, you know, by such, you know, incredible margins. I mean, the subs that came into the game were exceptional and could start for many teams around the country. Um, those teams in those years, I mean, just fantastic. And, and, you know, I have personal friends, you know, Clyde Drexler is a personal friend of mine. Mike Young gave me um, a, a, my first German Shepherd. He had a litter, and, 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 and naturally, um, we had to name one of the dogs after the five slam of Jamma. Mine was named Jamma, a German Shepherd, a, a, a great German Shepherd that looked like Rin Tin Tin, um, would guard my son because that dog grew up with my son. And my son used to ride his big wheel uh, down in Hoffine Pavilion while I was waiting for them to finish practice. Uh, it, it was just um, a, a great experience. I mean, the Southwest Conference was a competitive conference in both basketball and football and the other sports as well. But, you know, I mean, when you go back and, and look at some of those athletes that, that played um, against our teams and many of them, played professionally, you know, the SMU always had some good athletes over there. Texas Tech had some good athletes. Um, Arkansas would come in and, and, and they would have some stellar athletes. University of Texas, you know, couldn't stay with us in, in, in uh, basketball and, and there were times where they couldn't stay with us in football. They had some good athletes. Um, Rice had some good athletes from, from, from time to time. And, and, and some athletes like um, Pierce, who played professionally, uh, Ricky Pierce, for a number of years. I mean, exceptional shooter. Um, so I really got a chance to see some exceptional talent. Okay. Well, it's been an honor. Well, it's been an experience, and <laughs> I've got to go because we've got a ball.